Come on, come on. Where are you, dong, you great useless dandy dickhead? Sorry, David, I was in the shower. How in the hell can you lose a 24-point lead? You promised me you would deliver. Falling apart. Fuck, I'll go down in history as the greatest loser of all time. First line in Wikipedia. Round my neck to the day I die. And then on the fucking gravestone. Worse than Blair with a rock. I even took Devo Max off the ballot. Off! After listening to clowns like you. We have to keep cool head, David. It is just... One pole. <laughs> One pole? I should stick it up your anus. You know your problem. You look just like us. You sound just like us. You could have been in the bullying club with me and Boris. It's all my fault. Well, David, with respect, if you don't mind me saying, I... I... Well, with respect, if you don't mind me saying. Can you not get yourself a pair of bollocks and a good gruff Scottish accent, even just for the campaign? Too much to ask? I am perfectly confident once the big hitters, the city, the Bank of England, noble laureates, once this currency... Alison, shut your trap. Have you seen Doctor Strange, love? Pardon? Film. Kubrick. Doom is on the horizon. Desperate times. Desperate measures. It's time for... Gordon. Did you hear me? It is now time for... Gordon. You don't mean... Yes, I do, Alistair. But it will look silly. <laughs> uh, I'm the leader. We'll look desperate. We are desperate. But I hate the bastard! Don't get into a strop, Alistair. Don't want that big top lip wobbling on me. We'll hit the Scotties with the three big S's. They'll love that. Scottish accent. Socialist. Son of the maps. We'll get him up to one of these miners' welfare clubs in Lothian. Retired miners, salt of the earth, years of misery etched onto the faces. He'll summon up the spirit of Keir Hardy and the working class struggle, and we'll get him to announce a bunch of stuff that should have been Devo Max in the first bloody place. But it's me that does the announcing. Yes, announce. He will. Housing benefit. Welfare, they'll love that. But the postal vote has already gone. Do you think history will give a fuck? Tie it all into an unbreakable timetable. St. Andrew's Day, Robert Burns, Robert the fucking Bruce Roll, I care. Where is that? And let's see if we can breathe some life into that fucking useless zombie Labour Party before they lose their entire membership after Miliband nearly killed them off the last visit. Ah! I'll even hoist the saltire on 10 Downing Street as we unleash Super Gordon. Super Gordon? Yes, Super Gordon. He's even got a good Scots name. Alistair is a good Scottish name. Yes, but I told you, you look like a banker's butler. But could I not be Super Ali? No, you can't be Super Ali. It's Hoist the Saltire and Super Gordon. Socialist, son of the man. But he was part of Blair's war cabinet, Iraq, up to his neck in it too. If he had resigned like Cook, he could have sunk Blair. Super Gordon, socialist, son of the man. His speech to the bankers at Mansion House, bigger doormat than I ever was. I congratulate you on your remarkable achievements in an era that history will record as the beginning of a new golden age in the city of London. A few months later, we had to bail them out with 1.3 trillion. How can he get away with that? Super Gordon, socialist, son of the man. Privatiser in chief. PFIs, just one hospital, Addywell, will cost us over 920 million by the time he has written volume 36 of How I Saved the World in 25 Years' Time. Oh, one hospital! Nearly a billion! Ten times more than it should be. Socialist! Super Gordon, socialist, son of the man. But his jaw drops at the end of every sentence! That's because his head has to carry a great big hulking Scottish brain made from girders. Super Gordon. But he sold off 400 tons of gold bullion at the worst possible time and lost a fortune. Hoist the salt higher, son of the man. But I know J.K. Rowling much better than he does. I met her first. Alistair, calm down. Are you blubbing? And I've got thick silvery hair and a statesman's eyebrows. I could even get the Dalai Lama's personal phone number. Alistair, I'm sorry. It's tough. Do you really want to break the Queen's heart in the winter of a glorious rain? It's got to be Gordon. Bastard, bastard, bastard! 
mansion house to miners' welfare, erect a chief privatizer. How does he do it? How does the press swallow it? Great, big, boring, bad-tempered, foul-mouthed, sanctimonious twat of a hypocrite. Should be off to The Hague with Blair. At least I know I'm a banker's butler, but he gets away with being... Super good. How in the name of fuck does he do it? Do they feel sorry for him because he lost his eye? I might poke out one of my own. I demand to make the announcements. Strop over. Do you want me to pull the plug on you, Alistair? You have a long way to go, Hermine in silk. Do you want to join your friends, Baron Reed of Cardone, the Right Honourable, the Lord McConnell of Glenscorridale, Baron Folks of Cumnor? Take a deep breath and think. We will get through this. We will save the day. There could still be a knighthood for you, Alistair, if you have find some balls. I may look like a jam tart. Steve Bell may draw a condom on my head, but I am a Tory hard as steel. In our blood, I will summon up the spirit of Birkenhead, Churchill, the Iron Lady. I will save this union, trident, our special relationship with the land of the free, our place at the UN, and I will not go down as a loser. Do you hear me, you little butler? Stop snivelling. That's better. So Gordon is on his way to the fucking miners' welfare. So say after me. Super Gordon. Socialist, son of the manse. Say it. Super Gordon. Socialist. Son of the manse. Louder. From your pubes. Super Gordon. Socialist. Son of the manse. Put your hand through your silvery hair. Wiggle your statesman's eyebrows. Feel the power. Feel your manhood grow. Together. Super, Super Gordon. Gordon. Socialist. Socialist. Son, Son of, of the manse. manse. Right. You get your nappy on and phone your friends in the city. I'll hoist the sultana. <laughs>